research that will change your world. From the University of Calgary, U of C, this is now. Well, what we're noticing, particularly in the Old Man River, is that the number of female to male fish in the adult population is quite a bit higher than in the Bow and the Red Deer River, the Red Deer in particular. Uh, at some sites, the females make up to about 90% of the population, depending on the time of year we've sampled and where we've sampled. And what we think is normal is closer to 55 or 60% female. It's common to see slightly female biased ratios, but not 90% or 80%. What that's telling us is that fish are exposed to chemicals that either are estrogen or look like estrogen to their bodies and as a response they're uh, changing gender from male to female. There are quite a broad range of chemicals, some things that are produced only in cities through wastewater treatment processes or as a result of the wastewater treatment process, some things associated with industrial processes such as bisphenol A, and then some compounds that are associated with agricultural activities such as alpha alanol, which is a uh, growth promoter that's used in the livestock industry. We know that some of these chemicals have hormone-like activity. Uh, we also know that globally incidences of certain kinds of cancers have gone up over the last couple decades and a number of those cancers are cancers of organs that are under hormonal control. So prostate cancer, testicular cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer for example. So we, we don't have a direct connection between the chemicals and rates of cancer, but we understand how the chemicals could be involved in those kinds of cancers, and I guess that's where the concern comes from. I think we need to, to look at this a little more carefully and ask what is the message the fish are telling us. If the fish are showing uh, bent genders and people are drinking the same water that are there, then we need to try to evaluate that risk. We haven't evaluated that risk, and I can't tell you what that is. Uh, there's some risk, whether it's a risk that we should be concerned about and, and uh, should modify our drinking water as a result of, I don't know at this point.